Get your mouth, Charlie! Funny thing about Jamel Charlo, man, and it's something that I said a while ago, is this dude, man, look, bro, my brother Jamal Charlo is the best fighter in the middleweights. None of these dudes could beat him. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you got. Nobody's beating my bro. But I don't sense that energy from Jamel. I'm going to play the clip. Hey, um, you like your brother's chances that the Canelo fight still a big fight for him? You like his chances a little bit more? I, if he can get it, it you know, I... I will accept it as it comes. You know, we don't know. We don't. It's not something that like we just like got our fingers crossed for. You got to keep moving in boxing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's the thing about it. So like, a lot of people gonna say this and say that, but as long as my brother keeps stepping above all of that and keep fighting, I don't care who you fight, just fight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Based off so. the Bivol performance, do you like uh, do you like what you see there? Something your brother can expose at 168 maybe or? Uh, and, and my brother, honestly, I hate to say it, it could mean a little bit of more training with uh, like DJ. And you know, get to the you know Guzman and just get a little bit more clutch. Uh, I think he got a, a super good chance. Yeah, Ronnie um, shoes is great, I think, mm -hmm. but it just you hear from the same person for so long, you kind of like you need a little bit of more extra to, to develop your skills. And I think that's all I think my brother, that's all he missing. I think that's just kind of lame. He looked around first before he he looked around first before he answered. Make sure his brother wasn't around before he answered. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was lame. No, it's 10 toes down. My brother could whoop Canelo Alvarez's ass. Jamal Charlo, who was his trainer? Jamal Charlo also mentioned something about what Jamal, in regards to the Canelo thing, he said that my brother may, you know, come with um, DJ. I mean, Derek James, come train with DJ. And in order for him to really beat Canelo Alvarez, he may need to do some new things. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Jamal Charlo is in transition of a new trainer ahead of this fight with Selecki. Like, what is he doing? Like, come on, man. Like, shh. but my biggest beef with Jamel is, dude, you got to stay on call with your brother, bro. He looked around first before he asked the, asked the question. I didn't like that shit. He looked around, make sure his brother wasn't around before he uh before he asked the question and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, they asked you, could your brother beat Canelo Alvarez? Off code, off rip, no matter what. Hell yeah, my brother's whooping Canelo Alvarez. My brother Ben could have whooped Canelo Alvarez, but Canelo Alvarez don't want no smoke with my brother. That's what you should have said. But now nah, you looked around first and said what he need to do, and you pretty much let people know that Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo is having problems in camp with Ronnie Shields, and that's why we've been seeing photos of Jamal with Derek James. And Jamal has a fight coming up next month with Maya Selecki, who ain't playing no motherfucking games. He's going to come to win that fight. He saw what Juan Montiel did. He said, I could do the same. I've been in there with better guys than that. And you jump like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> it was really good. So he kind of exposed that, right? He got to learn how to play the media game better. He's gotten better, but he needs to learn how to just know how to um, say the right things. He be saying some fucked up shit, in my opinion. 